enjoy today's Hoofbeats video presented by Briar.co. Hey everyone, Stacy Roy with Briar.co, and I am coming to you live <laughs> from my daughter's bedroom, and I'll tell you why. I am a very uh, old veteran collector of Briar model horses. I've been collecting for 46 years, and I'm going to share with you today some of my collection from when I was a child. I'm going to share with you my first horse that I ever got when I, in 1975. <laughs> and um, date myself there a little bit. Now I was 10 years old at the time. So I'm in my daughter's room, which is where my collection from my childhood has been shelved for many years. And she's off at college. So, um, you know, it's quiet and the horses are a little lonely. So I thought I'd come and see them and dust them off. So I'm going to share them with you guys. And I'll just kind of show you a little bit of the room. They usually sit up on that shelf, but I pulled them down and I'm going to share them with you. But I'll start with my first horse. My very first horse that I received for my birthday was Old Timer. And this is him. He's been on a shelf for 46 years. <laughs> oh my goodness, the poor guy. He is in perfect condition. I love this horse. Love how his foot rests, you know, how he just, he's so relaxed. We could take some advice from him. I also have Stonewall. That's the jumper. He was one of the horses that I originally got as well when I was young, 10 or 11 years old. I really liked him. I would play with him a lot. He's been sitting on a shelf as well. Fireworks is not one of my old horses. <laughs> so we'll skip over to the Medicine Hat Stallion. Some of you might recognize him. This is San Domingo. I'm going to try to remember all these horses. Then I come to my Clydesdale Stallion. You know, I really loved him, love him. I noticed since I took him off the shelf, he's got a couple little spots on him, but um, what do I expect? You know, he's about 45 years old, so. <laughs> but he's still in great shape. And then his mare next to him, the Clydesdale mare. And of course, the bull whom I did play with. And uh, he, his name is Coach. I named all my horses, I wrote all their names down many, many years ago as a child. And I just had hundreds of names for my horses. And I have the foundation uh, stallions here of Azteca, and then of course the black foundation stallion. He's great. And then look at this. My splatter, glossy, dappled Clydesdale stallion. And he is fantastic. Let me flip him around for y'all to see get a good view of him. Like I said, I'm just taking these down and giving them some love and gonna put them back up on the shelf. Here's a little Arabian foal. I think it might be the family Arabian foal next to the Black Karen Welsh pony. And then here's one from old Smokey. With the rocking R on his shoulder. It's in great shape. It's in great condition. And then I'll show you some of my classics. I have the Black Stallion in classic size. And of course, this one's my favorite. This is Kelso. Kelso, I grew up right down the street from him. I went to school with the people who owned him. So I went to school with their kids. Then I have uh, Silky Sullivan right there. We have Terang, one of the famous racehorses. We have Swaps right there. And then, of course, Man of War. Who doesn't know Man of War, right? And this is all the classic size. We've got a Black Beauty sitting over here. And then I'm going to share with you some of the horses up on the shelf still. Step up here. And we'll start over here. So, I have some of the classic size horses here. I think that's Jill R. And uh, next to him, you'll see misty and stormy and this is their 75th anniversary i will tell you that they're probably a good 45 years old and they've been sitting on the shelf for a very long time <laughs> have some arabian arabian family here with the foals in three different colors cigar and who doesn't know diablo the semi-rearing 
Mustang. Everybody loves that buckskin. Legionero, one of my favorites. I just love how the, mo the model is posed with his high leg. Oh, and we have Justin Morgan. And then we have uh, El Pastor, Pasofino. Um, I really like El Pastor. Beautiful color. It's like a almost a purplish mahogany bay type color. And I always like this model. I wish Briar would use it more, um, even though it is an older model. It's just a really nice, clean model. Then, of course, my second horse that I ever received was Man o War. A nice big Man o War. Okay, this one escapes me. This paint. It's on the tip of my tongue, but I can't think of who it is. And I even tried looking him up, and I couldn't find anything on him. So I'll have to try it again in a little bit. Because it's driving me crazy not knowing who he is. I, my memory fails me. I apologize. This is Farlap. Some of you might know that famous racehorse, Farlap. And then next to him is a family Arabian stallion. So let me tell you the story on this one. It's a farmer's market find. He was alabaster in color. At the time, I didn't know he was a Briar family Arabian stallion. <laughs> and so he was painted and I made him a bay. So that is what he is. Then I have my pacer next to him. Whom I probably got when I was maybe 11 or 12. So he's old. And then who doesn't know? Yellow mounts the on the famous Adias mode. Yellow Mount was a very famous uh, paint horse responsible for siring at least 10% of all the progeny that exists today. Their coloration he's responsible for. Um, very famous, famous uh, American paint horse. And those are all my horses right now from my childhood. And I'm just getting down, like I said, and just kind of giving them some TLC. I have my little stable mates over there. That's not all of them, believe me. <laughs> I've got more to more to go, more to unwrap and dust off and, and lovingly package back up and put away. So just thought I'd share that with you guys. And we'll just end here with my very first briar horse that started it all on my journey. And I am well over a thousand models at this point in time, easily. I can't even, they're just everywhere. They're everywhere. <laughs> so thanks, everybody. Hope you enjoyed uh, sharing my collection with me. Um, and take care. Talk to you soon. This has been a Briar.co presentation.